All right, we got here a Whale Gusher 10 pump, Mark II. That's the uh, hand bilge pump that's mounted underneath my port side cockpit seat. And there's a handle that goes in here. So it pumps like that. Water comes in one end, pops out the other. So I bought a uh, rebuild kit. That's just a service kit. Um, it really doesn't seem like it's too big a deal. Uh, the reason I bought, well, I bought the service kit since I had it out anyway. I also bought this, uh, it's called a gator kit for the deck plate. Where this goes through the deck, this guy was torn. So, let me turn so you can see what I'm doing. So, uh, seems easy enough. Thrust it in there. Alright, there we go. Like that in there. And so many years of crud. Wow, screws. Uh, there's no thread left on this thing. degrees out there. It's just degrading. I don't think. Yeah. That nut or that uh, yeah that nut is not in the rebuild kit. It's a very coarse gauge. And the dog's bored inside because it's five degrees outside. <laughs> so there's two plates. So this will go there. This guy just comes on up. Take this off, clean it up, take it in, and see if I can't find a stainless nut to match. So this is the innards here. We got one. This is being sucked up, comes in through this valve, and then when it's sucked out, it goes out through that valve. It's an interesting lock nut on this thing. I've not seen anything quite like this. Whatever. I will take this up to West Marine, I guess. See if I can't find something to fit on there. Meanwhile, really will. Ugh. Easy one first. Famous last words. Well, at least for this one, they replaced the UMI replacement screws.
in. So this guy is flapping that way. This guy has to flap out. So it looks like there's a plate and then it's attached to the back of the plate and then the plate is attached. How late is West Marine open today? West Marine on Ridge Road East in Arondequoi closes later today at 5 p.m. All right, this is what I was talking about. So this plate came out. That, and then on the other side is the other flapper. I gotta clean this up here. And there's the gasket. So I did get a replacement gasket for there. All right, I think what I am going to do is pull this piece off that I put on already and just take a wire brush in here. Yeah, there's new pieces, there's the old pieces. I'm going to take a wire brush, clean all this crap out, <laughs> go to West Marine. I can't get a new piece here. Take this apart. guy I need. There, I got the flapper and the gasket on. Okay, let's see what I'm doing here. I'm just screwing these four. Bolt down. Alright, she's in. So, like I said, this guy down here, inlet, and that guy flops down, outlet. And I just gotta get that. Let's take a ride. Jumping ahead, about a month now, this nut is not available at Home Depot, Lowe's, True Value, any of the locals. I couldn't figure out what the heck was going on. Um, as best I could size it, I thought it was, I thought it had to be uh, this SAE size, not metric, because it was made in Ireland. I, I assumed that it would have been not metric at the time it was made. Um, so they didn't have the 14 millimeter coarse thread. So I ordered some off Amazon, they got here and they didn't fit. So long story short, I ended up getting a stainless steel nut from BritishFasteners.com because this is an unusual size nut. This is a one half inch 12. That's typically what's being sold in the United States now be a one half inch 13 count thread or a one half inch 20 count thread this is a one half inch 12 count thread i had to order from a specialty british company to get the right size and this like i said this does not come in the rebuild kit i could have ordered from gusher this whole assembly with a nut and it would have been like 90 dollars I ended up finding the right nut. So we gotta put this together. The way this goes, the rest of it, we got this plate underneath, this assembly through there, and then the nut on.
Okay. So I got that cleaned up a little bit. Now if I were Mads from Sail Life, I'd probably take this all apart, sandblast it and paint it. But I'm more like Sam Holmes. Good enough what I'm doing here. This piece goes in through there to that guy. I think the easier way to line that up. Pop this out. So I'm doing there. And with all interesting things with this pump, you know, I had the half inch nut on the inside with the odd size threading. This up here is metric. It's 11 millimeter. Okay, so that's done. Last but not least. Here, the suction. In that side, I can feel it. Nice. So, hopefully that's good. I'm always afraid of tightening these too much. Strip them out. So, give it a shot, but she's done. So if you're going to rebuild this, you get all the hardware you need inside except for this nut, which I am pretty sure was aluminum for some reason, and it just, just I don't know what happened to this guy, but didn't, didn't make it. Um, I went out and bought, I bought a spare, so I got two of them, but this is a one half inch 12. If you go to Home Depot or wherever, Typically they'll have the half inch 13 and the half inch 20. I believe it's the 13, 20 and this 12 I refer to number of threads per inch. Um, and I believe in metric, they measure it as the actual distance of the, of the threads from tip to tip. I'm not positive on that, but anyway, you'd need a half inch 12 for the inside there. Other than that, it comes with everything you need. And as I said, what started all this, this piece, um, kind of like they call it the gator, is what goes onto here, on the bottom of the deck. I got a replacement for that originally, that's what that was for. So, there we go. Well Gusher 10 pump rebuild. Hope it's helpful. Thanks, see you next time.